techniques used to move and lift the elderly. For seniors, mobility is crucial because it enables them to maintain their independence and engage in physical activity. Mobility also aids in balance, coordination and concentration, all of which can improve one's quality of life. Improved mental health, heart health, injury resistance and self-esteem. Proper handling will result in Assist the caregiver in caring for the disabled person. Assisting the client with transfers and bed mobility. When working with the elderly, do not try to pull the paralyzed arm. Do not try to pull the paralyzed hand. Taking care of the knee properly. An example of proper handling for a right hemiplegic. When standing, support and control the right knee. Body weight shift to the right leg. Lifting and moving. The right transfer technique. Transfer the patient from the bed to the wheelchair. When he or she has weak arms, place the wheelchair near the bed. Bend the elder forward, hands in front. Feet are placed on the floor. The caregiver secures the elder's knees and feet. To lift and shift buttocks from bed to wheelchair, support the pelvis. When he or she has powerful arms, assist the elderly person in wrapping their arms around the caregiver's shoulder. The elder's feet are flat on the ground. Caregivers can help the elderly person by pressing their knees against the elder's knees. Assist the elderly person in standing by holding on to his belt or pelvis and shifting buttocks from bed to wheelchair. The elder can be stabilized by the caregiver by pressing their knees up against the elder's knees. Note, the caregiver must look after his or her own back. A board can be used to facilitate lateral transfers from bed to chair, chair to chair and wheelchair to car. Put a sliding board beneath the elder's buttocks. Seize the elder's knees and feet. Lean the senior forward. Support the elder's pelvis as they shift their buttocks from bed to wheelchair or chair to chair or wheelchair to car or vice versa. Transferring from wheelchair to the toilet. When moving an elder from one position to another, he should be encouraged to do as much as he can on his own. In the toilet, make sure the handrails are the proper height and strength to aid in the transfer. Rules of lifting for caregivers Consider your patient's weight and mode of transportation. Gurney, stretcher, wheelchair. Recognize and accept your own limitations. Get assistance if you are unable to move the patient safely on your own. Prepare a strategy. Whether you are working alone or with a partner, know how you intend to move the patient, what steps you intend to take and what you will do if plan A fails. Communicate with your colleague as well as the patient. Injuries are reduced and all efforts are more efficient when everyone is on the same page. Use verbal commands and understand when to stop. General movement techniques Think about your alignment. You can reduce the risk of sprains and strains by keeping your head and neck aligned with your spine. Bend and lift with your knees, not your waist. Bending at the waist places undue strain on your lower spine. For the same reasons stated above, avoid twisting your body, especially while bending. While lifting and transferring the patient, keep them close to your body. The closer you hold them together, the easier it is to maintain your natural center of gravity and stay on your feet. By extending your arms, you engage weaker muscles, increasing your chances of slips, 
falls and possibly dropping your patient.